Hey, it's Caddy. Today we'll be talking about the selected properties of Earth's atmosphere. Temperature zones. Okay, so the thermosphere. The temperature gets colder as the distance above the Earth increases. Mesosphere. Extends on top of the tropopause to an altitude that has about 30 miles on top of the planet's surface. Stratosphere. When temperatures drop with increasing altitude to about 100 degrees Celsius, air temperature in the stratosphere stays constant up to an altitude of 15 miles. Troposphere. When temperatures grow below 200 to 300 km, km altitudes, then level off and stay good with increasing altitudes above the height. Names of boundaries between temperature zones. Stratopause. The interface between the stratosphere and the ionosphere. Mesopause. The boundary in the Earth's atmosphere between the mesosphere and the thermosphere at which the temperature stops decreasing with increasing height and begins to increase. Tropopause. The interface between the troposphere and the stratosphere. Okay, so before we start, right here is the altitude or elevation above sea level. So I was just talking about this section right here. As you can see, all the layers of the atmosphere begins at the bottom. So basically, right here is where the tropopause begins and this is where it ends. And this is where the stratosphere begins and this is where it ends and continuation above. This is where the mesosphere begins and ends and so on. We live in the troposphere. That's where all the water and oxygen is located. Atmospheric pressure. The pressure exerted by the weight of the atmosphere. The altitude increases all the way to the thermosphere. So I'm talking about this section right now. Right here, the greatest percentage of pressure we can get as we travel up through the atmosphere is at 1.0, which is right here. Going higher, atmospheric pressure decreases. Water vapor and concentration. Water ends on the stratosphere. Once it reaches over the stratosphere, water is no longer existent. So I'm talking about this right here. So most water vapor is in the troposphere. And there's very little water in the stratosphere. Any boundary higher, water is non-existent. So it basically only ends at the stratosphere. That's where it stops. All right, thank you guys for listening.